Hi guys, uh, GE here. I figured I would do a quick video on how to delete your old game prefix since uh, with the new version of Proton GE that I released, uh, due to some wind back and changes, old prefixes are not compatible and some people may not know how to uh, fiddle with wine prefixes or, or Proton game prefixes. So yeah, let's go ahead and just get started here and uh, bring up Steam. So let's say we want to replay Resident Evil Village or the Resident Evil demo. Right click on the demo, hit properties, and we'll go to local files, browse. This is the quickest way to get to the compat data folder or the prefix for the game. The reason I say this is because if you're like me and you have multiple drives with multiple Steam libraries, the prefix is located on the same drive or the same Steam library as the game. So if you have one game on one drive and another game on another drive, obviously those prefixes aren't going to be in the same location. So the way that you get to the prefix from the game folder is you open the game folder like we just did from Steam, go two directories up to Steam apps, and then you're going to see a compat data folder. Go in there and you'll see a bunch of folders with a bunch of numbers. These numbers are Steam game IDs. The easiest way to find the Steam game ID for your game is to just Google it. So we're going to open here a uh, new tab and we'll do Resident Evil Village Demo Steam. If we bring this up in Google, we get the two options for the game itself and for the demo. We click it. The URL has the Steam game ID in it right there. 151 excuse me, 1541780. So now that we know that's the Steam game ID, we can go over here and we delete it. If you look inside of it, there's our prefix folder. And from there, everything looks the same as a wine prefix. But easiest way is just bam, delete it, done, right? Once we do that, we go back to the game, not that one. Come on. And we'll hit play, and bam. Like you just saw, a new prefix just got created. And it should launch the game. New, fresh, clean prefix. Now, I'm not going to let this go all the way through because it's uh, the RE Engine logo plays some static that's not fun to hear. So that's how to delete the prefix to get a fresh, clean slate when you're starting the game. Now, one thing, well, two things to note here are your saves some games uh, some older games in particular save the game data in the prefix so your save your game saves may get wiped uh, if you care about that then you're going to need to figure out where that specific game saves those files on windows and then go to the prefix equivalent so for example if we go in this prefix we go to pfx drive c everything's laid out in windows the usual places that it saves files are under users, Steam user, and either save games or uh, what's the other folder? App data is another one. Application data is another one. Location, uh, local settings, application data is another one. Uh, my documents, my games is another one. But again, you'll have to look that up per game and and figure out where those saves and configuration files are if you want to back them up. Uh, I know Warframe does this, so and other games do. If your game uses Steam cloud saves, then you likely don't have to worry about saves. It's just configurations and button mapping, mappings that may be an issue to back up. So just keep those in mind when you delete the prefix. Apart from that, that's the easiest way to start to try and run a game from a clean slate. If you try that, and it doesn't work still, another option is to try and restart Steam. The reason you want to do that is because when Steam runs a game in Proton, it runs in a container, and that container runs all of your wine processes. If the game itself exits, but none of those other processes exit, or one of the processes stays hanging around, then Steam's going to think the game is still running. Or Steam, you know, it might even trick Steam into thinking that the game isn't running, but it's still running one of those processes in the background. That can prevent other games from running properly. So 
Easiest way to do, get rid of that or fix that is to restart Steam because if you restart or close the parent process, then the child processes also get killed. Uh, if that doesn't work for whatever reason, I also have this script that I use called Kill Wine, and it basically just kills everything related to wine and everything related to the container. I'll put this in the video description, and hopefully that helps out if you, you know, absolutely can't get a game to run. If none of that fixes the issue, then you've either got a problem with your drivers or you've got a problem outside of Steam or uh, outside of Proton. Uh, or the, if it's a custom version of Proton, there could be a custom a, a bug related to that version. But that usually only occurs if if that occurs in a custom version, and it doesn't occur in like Proton Experimental or Proton the normal version, then yeah, that's an issue with that specific version of Proton. Uh, usually, just things to keep in mind surrounding the prefix and getting the games to launch properly um, uh, with this script. You can just open a terminal, and obviously if you fresh download it, you're going to have to make it executable, like I did right here, and then you just run it, and it kills everything related to wine. Uh, the other, uh, one other thing is, say you deleted the prefix, and the prefix got recreated, but for some reason the game isn't um, detecting a sub-launcher like Origin, or Uplay, or Rockstar. Things like that. I've had it a couple of times where I created a clean prefix for Red Dead Redemption 2, and then it doesn't install Rockstar, and it tells me it can't find the Rockstar launcher. One other way to fix that is if you go to Steam, Settings, Downloads, and hit Clear Download Cache. Do that, it'll restart Steam, and then go and delete your prefix again, and then start the game. And that should kickstart Steam to make sure that either you know, Origin or you play or Rockstar Game Launcher get installed properly. So hopefully that helps you guys out with uh, a lot of the troubleshooting of getting games to launch. Uh, if absolutely none of that works, then it's uh, my, my best assumption would be that it's something outside of Steam, like your drivers or something like that. So good luck. Have fun. Enjoy.